Hey guys, what's going on? Um, so this is a kind of a uh, review from the past, kind of in a way. Uh, I reviewed this model about a couple years back, I think. Um, it's a little different. Um, the trailer is definitely different, and uh, the truck is different style. And, uh, there it is, right there, it's the Revell Pia 359, conventional, I think it was, uh, I picked this up for about 30 bucks, which is pretty cheap, as you can see it's got a lot of different accessories on it, um, let me start with the truck. And as you, oh, and I almost forgot the trailer, which is a AMT flatbed. I got uh, for about the same price, thirty bucks, and this painted the master truck. So, and uh, as you can see, there's two two Mustangs on on the uh, flatbed, and uh, so I'll go to the truck first. Get that out of the way. So here's the truck. As you can see, I've done a lot of different work to it. Um, some things you might notice: the air cleaners are different. So these air cleaners right here actually off a. Um, it's kind of a kit bash between the uh, Kenworth W900 and the uh, 359 Peterbilt. I had to, to do this, I had to use the Peterbilt's elbows, uh, hose elbows for this, and I used the Kenworth uh, air cleaners. Uh, also used a Kenworth mud guard right here, These are, because I thought that would be really nice on the truck. Um, and as you notice, it doesn't have antennas on it. So what I did was I took the antennas off and used them to make support trusses right here because oh uh, better not touch that because the uh, on the real trucks they would have had these but the way the mirrors come on these trucks is that they're just one piece and it looks really tacky I didn't like that so what I did was what you see there and uh, this visor right here this sun visor that came that came from a old AMT kit from uh, a record truck I think and I'm trying to think if there's anything else custom built or custom put on here that, I, that I'm trying to find that I don't think I did so anyway let's get on with it so first thing so obviously you know this is a good kit because I bought I bought two or three of these and I've always they're always easy to put together and they're fun to paint fun to paint you know they come with cool decals that came with the kit this decal right here um, the Peterbilt mud flap decals the, uh, the license plate which I think is Washington State license plate which I think is cool that came off a uh, logging kit that I got, that logging kit from a couple of years back. Um, and you know there's so it's a very nice kit to build. You know I never had um, I never had a problem putting it together. Uh, it's very tight. There's a very tight fit so like something's not going to just fall off while the glue is drying. I've never had a problem with that. Um, here's the engine, as you can see, very, the engine is very nice, um, I can give you another angle here, I like the way it looks, it comes out great when it's done, looks really, look, it kind of reminds, it, it actually kind of reminds me of my dad's truck, uh, you know, so my dad had one of these when he was truck driving. 
and as you can see the underside right here very nice especially back here it looks looks pretty realistic you know and uh, I'm pretty sure if you wanted to if you want to like put real suspension in here I could I guess you could It'd be a little bit of work but I guess you could do it it wouldn't be I guess it wouldn't be too hard uh, each wheel that comes on it is in independent of each other so that one spins and this, they're on independent axles and uh, as far as the the pinning process goes with these you you gotta be careful putting them on sometimes and sometimes you don't but they stay on way better than the AMT uh, pins because I don't know why it's I think it's the way that they're designed but they stay on a lot better and they last a longer longer they're stronger you know you won't have them break off as easy as the MT ones will uh, this is probably I don't this is one of the retooled versions I think uh, this was retooled back in 2012 and I got the I got this before after 2012 so this is a new tooling uh, and I compared them I compared them and there's really no difference between them uh, this interior is very nicely done you know you can paint all the gauges and make it look cool I did this I did it uh, nice big steering wheel just like they would have had I don't, you can't really see in there but it's it's very nice front grille you know looks just like it should and you can uh, keep it pretty well chromed up here and what I did here with the grill is actually paint I actually took uh, thick paint and then went over it with a paintbrush and then quickly wiped it off and left like this um, this illusion that you know that the uh, grill is kind of see-through but you can't really see the engine parts or anything because it's so dark in there which I think is always cool when you can actually do stuff like that um, the stacks are really nice you know I, I like it if they came out with a like w when they did the retooling they would have like did turnouts elbow pipes at the end but that's just fine um, one issue that you might have with this kit is that sometimes the uh, pipes don't align properly with the um, other pipes I don't know if you can see it right there but these sometimes don't align properly and they won't fit properly so you may get a little bowing out but that's okay you can just cut that off I had no big deal with it uh, you know it, it does take a little bit away but not too bad uh, you can see the air tanks and whatnot are done up all nice and uh, what I was going for when I built this was really to be uh, like a show truck oh I can see a piece fell off here I can glue that well enough apparently but really I did up did it up to be a show truck you know like classic 70 70s to late 80s look you know, red and black always looks good on a Peterbilt to me. You know, all, all frame, all red, and then the body all black and the fenders all red. And you can see the fuel tank straps, or which is actually cool. Um, they they're very easy to paint because inside the lines because you know that's there's a little like a little lip, and you don't really need like um, any type of uh, tape, masking tape or anything. Um, horns and lights are really nice. Overall, I would this for its price and for its quality. I think it's the best, one of the best buys you can get. It, this is uh, it's not as intricate intricate as a, like a. Uh, uh, AMT kit like you know there's a lot more parts to put on an AMT kit like you have to put the sleeper together 
but then again there's so many things that can go wrong you know for beginner levels for beginners I think this would be the best buy rather than going straight to AMT because AMT is such more advanced and sometimes the AMT kits don't fit right together but overall I give this this model uh, probably a 8 out of 10 it's so good I mean the price is awesome and uh, it goes well with other trailers you know that you can get from AMT or Ravel. Ravel does make some uh, trailers but I think they're Ravel of Germany and they're more European styled but well, overall if you if you were looking for a cool truck kit this is one to get um, now we'll move right over here to the trailer Three hundred two Boss Mustang. That I'll probably be doing a review on. Four twenty nine. I've already done a review on that. Um, the trailer. You know, I got one of these a few years back. It went together pretty easily, so I was like, "Hey, why not? Get, why not get another one?" And I, I did. Um, I have to say though that this one was actually harder to put the guy together than the first one um, very nice though I like the deck the simulated wood deck can't really t see it because of the, you know the lighting but what I did was I actually uh, w made it look like it was weathered so I put black on it and then wipe it off you know make it look weathered and whatnot that's pretty cool um, got a nice uh, backboard here you know, and they come. They come with the coolest decals. AMT comes with the coolest decals. You know, like the uh, warning tape right there, reflective tape, and uh, the trailer. And they come with, unlike the Revell kits, which honestly I wish the Revell kits did, was they can't came with like company uh, decals. So like he, uh, one of them is like a construction company. Which is pretty cool. And you can put that on the mud flap and uh, you can pin up all the little lights with, like what I did, which is fun. It can be uh, grueling sometimes, but it's fun. I enjoy it. Um, the wheels, they, the wheels are some of the hardest parts to put together. And uh, I can't remember if I, yeah, these wheels are um, clip on, just like the, they have little pins and whatnot that stick out of the axle or yeah the axle and you just push them on their push fit and they stay on there and these have so far have stayed on pretty well the last kit I got which was one of these um, I had to kind of cut those off and then drill holes and do a conjoined axle but I don't have to do that with this I didn't have to do that with this one this time um, another example of cool decal is the uh, caution uh, white turns uh, actually I'll show you the underside now um, there's a lot of things I didn't put on here that should I should have like the uh, cross members right, right here there's a little cr like cross or something bar that uh, is supposed to hold everything in uh, it's pretty and one thing EMT has done is they made it really look realistic so like the kingpin actually is a lot like the, what they would have done like a real trailer um, the suspension is like exactly like a real trailer you know and all this other stuff I haven't put the hoses on yet or anything like that that's probably going to be like a mi miniature pro side project or something uh, you know sometimes and this this whole entire setup right here can be actually pretty frustrating to uh, put together uh, I I have a frustrating time trying to put it together I don't know if it's because I painted it first or whatever but it, the glue did not want to stick and so stuff would fall off and actually it's missing something that I never noticed before and it's missing it right now which kind of you know but anyway that's not a big deal <laughs> Dixie, quiet. 
and you know the wheels are kind of the the tires are kind of fat but it's not a big deal um, you have to I'm not saying you have to use a lot of glue but sometimes when I did when I first did these I had to put on a lot or I didn't put on a lot of glue and the tires were so springy that the after I let the uh, rims dry for 24 hours and then after that I put the wheels on and the wheels would just pop the thing right off with the very small, small amount of glue I did, did use so I had to use a lot of glue to get that done and um, now it's holding pretty well now the landing legs they can't come with different length of landing legs so if you want to like just stand it up like if you just want it to be resting on its own legs then you can do that I put the shorter ones on because it was supposed to have the conjoin supposed to have a tra it's got a truck for it of course so I don't need to worry about that put that over there before I lose it and I think these are, this is like a 40 foot flatbed but these are pretty cool to build as long as you don't, as long as you can deal with the frustration of putting certain pieces together you know you, sometimes you do have fitting issues with AMT but really that's not a big deal to me you know, I, I can still have fun building them uh, as far as everything else these these kits are awesome uh, these kits are awesome I mean if you, if you don't want to necessarily um, buy it for the kit I mean the decals that these come with is always awesome they always come with big ni nice big sheets probably about yay long and about yay wide and they're they're usually pretty nice they got like little they got little emblems on it, like DK, like what somebody would, some guy would put on his truck. Hang on, like that little guy right there. Also, the fun stuff. You know, AMT truck stop, Michigan, uh, Troy, Michigan, and uh, whatnot. Yeah. So let me put this back together. I'm already 17 minutes and 30 seconds in. So, as you can see, look good together, you know, looks like it's ro rolling right out of the, kind of looks like it's rolling right out of the 80s there, and, you know, you can, there's so many display options out with these, you know, unfortunately these, this, uh, axle right here doesn't turn, but I'm pretty with, a, I'm pretty sure with a little engineering, you can make that work, but you know why would why would you want to do that when this what looks just fine to me? Um, but yeah, these are really cool trucks, and um, I've actually motorized one of these, and uh, that was fun. Um, it was a school project, so I they're made, actually cool to motorize, and you can actually probably make them a little RC. You know, put a little trust uh, computer chip in the six sleeper cab, and you know just like rig up little wires and whatnot, little, rig up a motor right here and whatnot, and right like that, it'll probably work just fine, oops, so anyway, if you're going to get like, if you want like a, like a project or something, something for a diorama, these two would be awesome to get, uh, like a truck stop diorama, and you can put like, all kinds of vehicles on the back, or you can put like a big wide load, and, and these actually, these trailers actually come with a uh, a uh, oversized load sign. They come with two of them and some chain. You can actually chain a big load on, a big wide load, and oversized and whatnot. And you can put it on the truck. You can custom make your own flags and whatnot, make it look real cool. And uh, yeah, anyway, so so I give the truck overall about an eight or eight to nine which is really good uh, I never went you can't go wrong with buying this this is such a good deal uh, uh, pick this up for 24 bucks after tax it was about 30 bucks so re reasonably priced you know if you're one of those model services like me that's not doesn't have a lot of money the trailer 
I would rank probably out of all the trailers that I can find um, just based on trailers alone I probably give it about a seven but model wise it's more of a six but this is probably one of the easy better trailers to put together easier and whatnot better molding and whatnot um, I have another I have built a few other trailers and I have had a lot of problem problems putting them together and I will do a review on those but so if you really want this like this setup right here and you want to do your own custom build you can't go wrong with this so anyway um, that's it I'll talk to you guys later